Hello and welcome to Lego Mindstorm's EV3 Tutorials. Today I am just going to be doing a random code combination that will be made up on the spot, so if it's a little hard to understand, um, that's, I can't guarantee you it will be uh, easy to understand. <laughs> um, I'm making this at 9, no, almost 10 o'clock at night, so I'm a little tired. Um, so yeah, if I kind of start rambling on about something else in my life or whatever, it's not my problem. If you get bored, just skip the video. It doesn't really matter. As long as you get the basic concept of what I'm doing, uh, you will be fine. So, let's do something interesting. Let's, hmm. Let's have it so that it's, um, controlled by the actual brick. The brick button, so let's go here. The hell is it? Right there. Okay. And then you put it there. And you go to brick buttons, compare brick buttons. And let's go with this one. This will make it go. Hmm. You know what? Let's just have it go back, um, forward and all that. So, yeah, so that will make it go on for, let's have it on for seconds. Three. So, yeah, three seconds. So, once you press the forward button, it, the robot will go forward at 75 speed, which is three quarters of the total speed. It's out of 100, obviously, for three seconds. Make sure your motors are connected to ports B and C. So let's have it so that it can go reverse. So that in case we want it, don't want it to go forward. Let's say we change our mind right on right off the spot. Okay, so so yeah, we're just gonna turn these negative. Obviously, like I said in my other tutorials, make sure this is the um, demo robot or what's called the tracker robot. Um, it is included in the starter pack, blah blah blah. You've probably heard me say this like a million times. Um, hopefully I'm not boring, boring you to death. So after these are done, let's do something interesting. Let's make it so that when it's going forward, we put the what the speed is. So, um, so that will be the display. Will be hmm. Oh, hold on. Oops. Okay. I think it's under information. Nope. Progress right there. Okay. Nope. Okay. So that's seventy-five speed. So it will be dial three. Let's just do that one more time. Dial three. Or, yeah, dial three. Okay, so, and then in order to stop the robot, let's say we just want to interrupt the program and just stop it. And we go here. We can actually override the system. And we, I will, I will not just connect those. Let's say I want this. Yeah, so the center button will just be stop. So zero, oh, oh, zero, and zero. Oh, you know what? I might as well just go off. Yeah, there. So that will just go off, and then the dial will turn zero. Yeah, zero speed. And then I am going to have it so that it defaultly has the dial turned off. So, one second. Now, this part's really optional. But it, it kind of gives it that, oh my god. This program. Lego needs to make this program faster and less complicated. Like, there's. There's so many like different things that I'm not used to. What am I doing? God. Okay. 
I have no idea what I'm doing, sorry. Okay, scrap that. Just put this in here. That was zero. There we go. There! Okay, so... Um... In case you don't get what I'm doing at all. So basically, this tells the loop function to wait until you press... Um... This button right here. The top button that's highlighted. Then the, then the robot will go forward at 75 speed for 3 seconds and then break at the end. Then it'll show the dial. Actually, I should put this here so that it shows the dial. Then those, yeah. And then um, it stops. And I will have the dial go to zero because it's not moving. Then I'll just repeat that. I'll screw it up. Okay, there. So this one's basically the opposite of that. It's going back. So the negatives make um, the motors turn the other way, which is going reverse. And this is, uh, as soon as that's pressed, it goes to dial 3, which is 3 quarters of the speed, which is 75. And then this, um, it goes, the dial goes back down to 0. Now the dial is optional, these little screen things. And then this, yeah, that's, um, basically if you just hit this, uh, center button, whether it's moving or not, it'll stop the whole program. And the dial will go back down to zero. And then this defaultly, when when the program starts at first, um, the dial will be set as zero as the robot's not moving. Now, there might be some problems with the program. I haven't really tested it out, um, but most likely it will work. I would recommend you try this out. It's a pretty good system if you're just experimenting with the robot seeing the amount of rotations per foot all that stuff um, yeah and you can if you're if you're ready you can actually go in and you can change if you want rotations on for degrees all that you can do that for any of these okay um, as long like as long as this here like the basic basic stuff um your program should work out pretty good hopefully um this works for you and thank you for watching